the third running of it. 1,500 meters. Starter ready. They're off for the Kingston. Modern Miracle took off quickly with Anonymous. Ridgeliner shows speed as they leave the seven. Ability close up with Anonymous attacked to the outside as they make their way down the back stretch. Ridgeline are out in front. Ability, a narrow second over Anonymous. Mojito moving with them as they leave the six. Burning Valor Race is next. Huntsman joins that one. A gap of some four or five lengths. The rejected Raja. Sensational move attached to the outside. Hidden between them. That's Kai on the go as they go racing past the 5 8 pole. A break back to Secret Admiral, Modern Miracle, and Whiskid at the back of the field. They're about to arrive at the half mile in the Kingston, and going into that turn, Mojito now attacks Ability, and uh, these two share it. Huntsman right in behind them, hoping for them to fold as they leave the 716th. A break back to Anonymous. Ridgeliner is the one running the rail. Burning Valor now asked to make some progress. Sensational move begins the move as they're arriving at the 516th and coming into the lane. The big mojito has taken charge. Huntsman will try to run him down. Ability left back with work to do, but it is mojito out in front and in charge with 316th remaining. Mojito beginning to power away from this field. Huntsman running best of the rest, but can't touch this. It is mojito. It's all over, it seems, inside the final furlong. It is mojito out in front as 16th remaining is the this the new intercontinental ballistic missile at Caymanus Park and Mojita wins the Kingston in fine style by double digits. Huntsman is second. Sensational move just ahead of Ability and Secret Admiral.
In the winner's end corner, the ultra impressive Mojito. Race number 10, the third running off the Kingston. Number two, Mojito. A three year old gray coat by Savoy Stomp. 50 Shades of Ray by Zanero. Bred and own Richard Azan and Alexander Abba. Train Richard Azan, the winning rider, the champion jockey. Devastating Dane Dawkins for two wins on the day. The groom, Reverton Nelson, second. Number nine, Huntsman. Third, number seven, Sensational Move. Fourth, number 10, Ability. And fifth, number six, Secret Admiral. Final time for 1,500 meters, 133 flat. back to the winner's circle and a very exciting winner's circle after an exhilarating performance by Mojito to destroy his rivals in the Kingston Stakes. Dane Dawkins, rider again, we spoke yesterday after a feature race, another one, but wow. Tell us about that. Well, he's a fantastic horse, no? That was. Now, let's go through the race. Ability is gone there. Well, firstly, what's your thought coming into the race? You've got these three rock star Colts, which yours has now be become the biggest rock star in Jamaica. Um, what's your thoughts going into the race? Are you thinking about your own race, or are you thinking about the other two superstars as well? Well, I wasn't thinking about any race. You know, I know what my ass can do, and I will I go in the race with a free-minded. Lovely. So you go down the back, Ability's there, Huntsman's behind you, and then they push the button, and you go with it. Did you tell us what you're thinking about the, the about the halfway mark when you sort of when ability goes and then you go with him? Well, correction is not ability; it was Huntsman on my inside. Well, I, was I was tracking ability into it, ability up in front of you. Well, I was well comfortable, you know. When I look across and I see Mark, okay. I asked him to respond a little bit, and he responded. Notice Huntsman started to back in out, so I said, okay. There is no more threat because I don't see ability nowhere. So I continue to bring him into the straight and ask him and he responded. And the feel in the straight must have been amazing as you put away some very good horses and put them away very easily. Must have been a great feel in the straight. Yeah, he's a <laughs> yeah he, he responded a lot. Lovely, cool. Next step, is he unbeatable throughout the campaign? Are you, are you that confident? Yeah, I'm very confident. You know, and the horse is confident because... Every day you get better and better. Lovely. Well, you rode him perfectly. We didn't get, get a chance to catch you after Duke. That's how you ride a good thing, too. Any, just a quick comment on Duke, too, the old stager, getting up there and doing the job in the previous? Yeah, and I know him, you know. And if I get a good break, the race is finished. Beautiful. Dane Dawkins, champion rider. Looks like he's riding the champion three-year-old this year, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time. Well done, Dane. Continue Thanks, on. Everyone. Now we get to welcome the master trainer, Richard Azam, one of the great gentlemen of Comanus Park Racing. Richard, tell us about it. You've had plenty of feature race wins. Tell us, about, tell us about how excited you are with this horse. Well, first of all, he ran a better race today than he ran the last time. The last time was the first time out for the year, and you can see he has improved tremendously. I hope he'll continue like that because he's really a very nice horse, and I'm thinking he's one of the better horses that I've owned and trained. It's a big comment, Richard. You've had a few good ones. Let's talk about him, though, and let's talk a little bit about your training style. One thing I've noticed, love watching horses parade. You're very slow, very meticulous. Let the horse build into their preparation. You know, you don't expect to see your horses revved up. He's still got lengths of improvement, too. He's right where you'd want him, isn't he? Exactly. Uh, and he's, he's, a, he's a gentle horse to train. Yep. And so he does anything that you ask him to do, which is what I really like. Uh, that's what good horses are. And so... Um, He's doing everything that we're asking him to do. Let's just hope we can continue without any setbacks. 
and I'm looking forward to a great year. I think you're going to have a good year. Did you? I mean, we were all built it as a three-horse war. You said you think it might be one of the best horses you trained. Did that even surprise you a bit, what he did out there today? No, I was expecting that. I really was, because he trained really well coming to the race, and um, he was very keyed, you know, very keen today, and I knew that he was really feeling good. We're going to be asking a lot of the, a lot of people these questions in the next few weeks. Stepping up in trip, he looked like he could go around again after he after he went there with plenty of improvement. Uh, no worries about getting up into the distance as we get closer to the the real no, big ones. Yeah, his sire is bred. He's bred to stay, and so I don't think I have any problems. And he's showing that that you know he wasn't coming back. He was moving away. Yes. And so you know where we are is where we want to be, and let's hope we can continue. You got the breeding. You've got the rubber stamp form. You've got improvement up your sleeve. Any message to the competitors out there that think they might beat Mojito this season? You know, you never take anything for granted. Yeah. So let's just take it one step at a time and hope that, that the horse's stars are with us. Yeah, lovely. Richard, well done, mate. Really good to see a good Thank man. Thank you very winner. much. Have a really good horse again. Okay, good. Thanks. What a, what a win. Mojito, braining them. We've got a star three-year-old here at Caymanus Park, and that's always great. Look forward to what happens throughout the year. And, of course, we'll be back next week with more great racing from the most fun place to race in the world, Caymanus Park.